Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So just a quick video. I'm just making some little seam binding flowers. Um, so I'll just give you a recap on how to do it. I did it a long, long, long time ago. Um, so I thought I would quickly just show you um, how to do them. Now I've coloured some seam binding this morning in some beautiful colours, um, which I am absolutely loving. Now they will be going with something that might be coming up on Friday. So, just a little quick hint there. So, I want to make some flowers um, for embellishments. So, what I've got, I've got this lovely seam binding and obviously I have coloured it before. I do have a video. Um, I think I coloured some for my daisy journal or it might have been... Um, cheesecloth I'm not sure but it's the same principle so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you how to do it it's really simple all I popped inside is some little gems and some little um, flat back pearls um, so they are lovely so they're really really simple so I'm not actually going to cut it to length I'm just going to keep I'm just going to leave it one length obviously you can do it with ribbon as well it doesn't have to be cheesecloth so I've just got a obviously a needle and thread and I'm going to take it and just pop a little sort of like knot in the end here like that to hold it now you just want to sew down one side now I'm going to just put those out of the way so you can see I hope you can see I'm just going to do a running stitch along here now it's going to be about 20 stitches so that's one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now that gives you roughly about six inches. So if I open that out, so let me get my ruler. So that should roughly look. There we go. Yep, roughly six inches, which is about 15 or 16 centimeters. So that's like 20 little stitches, and that just pulls up into a lovely little flower. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut that off there like that. And then if I can pick up my needle, I'm just going to put the two ends back to back. So that was the one at the beginning that we made the little knot in. And then we'll just pop those two back to back so and then you just pull it tight and then just sew the two ends together like that so it is just so simple and I think they just look so so lovely um, again you can have anything you like in the middle um, and I just think they look just so pretty and you can just sit and make lots and lots of these look at that beautiful little flower just perfect so I need to make lots of these to go in my stash anyway um, so I'll show you again it's really really simple let's do a pretty purple one let's find the end so we've got the end here just ouch don't stick it in your finger make a little knot so it doesn't come off and then just do you can do as many stitches as you like, little running stitches along there. Um, you'll get to know how many, you, how big you want your flowers, whether you want to them um, to use less seam binding or ribbon or whatever you're going to use. Um, the more obviously stitches you do, the um, sort of thicker um, your petals so-called will be. So let's just do it and the less, so the less you do, it's not going to be like this. It won't be, um, it'll be more spread out, but this one I've done quite a lot. So it all depends on how many you want, but I think roughly um, about 20 stitches or something like that. Let me just do a couple more in here just to make it a little bit of a thicker one. I've got hand cream on, so <laughs> my needle is slipping. So there we go, let's just chop this off here. I keep it on the length like that so you don't have sort of like odd bits left. 
um, and then what we're going to do we're going to take this end and this end and pop them together pull that so we have a nice little flower and then we just sew the two ends together really really simple like that just a few little stitches in there just to hold that nice and tight chop that off and there we go so that's a nice small sort of like compact little flower on there and then all I'm going to do I've got some little the little flat back pearls here I need to find a little pot to put those in really and of course I've got my little gems which are lovely and I'm going to just take a little bit of glue pop a little bit in the middle like that let's have one in the red one as well pinky one I'm going to take my little gem picker upper or whatever you call it and I'm going to take one of these and one of the bigger ones and just pop it in the middle and I just love these they're just such a lovely quick embellishment to pop onto any of your little journals or things like that now I've got some bowl pins which you can just pick up obviously and just pop it on there like that so you've got a little dingly dangly flower you can um, just stick it on there like that or you can make it into like a little paper clip but embellishments for everything I can't show you what I want to put them on obviously because it's for Friday um, but you will see and I'm just loving them so they're really really simple um, loving this green one look at that just gorgeous aren't they and so simple to do but again if you don't have seam binding just get your bits of ribbon out um, and a needle and thread and just make some lovely little flowers you can put little buttons in the middle you don't have to put anything in the middle you can just leave them as they are but I just think they are gorgeous um, really really lovely so there we go guys just a quick recap on how to do the little seam binding flowers so I think they're pretty so all right guys thank you so much for joining me please stay safe take care and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.